top three ways you can avoid motorcycle death. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Cycle Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Number one, do not do excessive speeding. <laughs> because excessive speeding can set you up for a fucked up day. It's a higher likelihood that it can set you up for a fucked up day. Number two, avoid riding with a lot of cars. Avoid riding in metro areas as much as possible. Take your ride out to the rural area, out in the country, where you don't have stop and go traffic. It's actually much more fun that way out there anyhow, and much more beautiful scenery. Because the more cars you're around, the higher chance you're gonna have of having a fucked up day. The number one cause of deaths out here on the street are cars cars killing you and excessive speeding I tell you guys that's why I tell you with these super bikes they really encourage you to speed man I mean they don't encourage you but it's just it's like crack to a crackhead you know you you dangle crack in front of a crackhead he's gonna probably it's gonna be tough for him not to grab it and smoke the fuck out of it here I got a throttle I'm on this super bike this is like crack right here man <laughs> I tell you, I got the fucking throttle cranks in them, goddammit. Ah, fuck! Can't take it, man. <laughs> Son of a bitch, stop it. Hey, I'm getting crazy in this bitch, man. I'll tell you. And I've never smoked crack. Let's clear the air here. I've never taken drugs in my life. <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you guys that when you've got 155 miles per hour fucking at the... the you know, at the reach of your hand here, anytime you want to, zero to 105.5 fucking seconds. It's tough to resist, you know, and that's another reason why I got the WR250R, so I can have fun slow, you know, less chance of a fucked up day, and uh, less chance of losing my license. <laughs> So you might want to keep the speeds down. Stay the fuck away from cars. That's going to help keep you from having a fucked up day. But number three also is uh, wearing gear, of course. You can't forget that. Obviously, it's going to help avoid skin abrasion. Uh, it's going to help keep your head safe wearing a helmet. I don't have to go through the importance of wearing motorcycle gear. I've done that in a million videos. Uh, but... You guys know that already. But it's it's surprising, believe me, a lot of these motorcycle riders uh, they don't they don't adhere to. They don't wear gear. They fucking uh, do high speeds out here on public streets. And uh, which I'm I'm guilty of on occasion. I'm not gonna be a hypocrite here, man, but I'm just letting you know the more you do it, the higher your chance is of having a fucked up day. And um Riding with a lot of cars, you know, if you commute on your motorcycle to work, uh, it's, it's a higher risk of having a fucked up day. Because I tell you guys, especially in rush hour traffic and a lot of crazy fuckers, that's, that's where I almost got nailed by a car that time, man, where I was riding on the highway during rush hour on the highway and a car nearly sideswiped me, man, because uh, I maybe I wasn't going fast enough for him. I was getting ready to head off on the exit ramp. And he just blazed right the fuck illegally past me on my right side. And uh, that's why I tell you guys to ride uh, the right center or just right of center right here to avoid cars from being, uh, you know, preventing them from being able to pass you on the right side. I was over here and, and had he had adequate space and man, he just blazed. Had I turned right here, I would have been fucked. If I'd have turned right when he was flying by, oh man, I was really lucky that day, guys. But I tell you, the rush hour, you know, people really agitated with the, the traffic. You know, they want to get home and just people get crazy as fuck. They get aggressive. So your best bet is really to stay away from cars during rush hour traffic, man. 
and uh, really just staying away to fuck cars. Do most of your riding out in rural areas. It's more fun out there anyhow. I know some of you might say, hey man, you could hit a deer out there. I'll tell you, I'd rather hit a deer at 40 miles an hour than to hit a, a, you know, three tons of steel. I'll tell you that shit right now. Most people that I've seen that hit deers out there, most of them survive it. And, uh, but a lot of people that hit cars, you know, they have a real fucked up day. But hey guys, that's all I have for you for these top three ways to avoid dying on your motorcycle. Uh, at least reducing the risk, should I say, reducing the risk. But you have that risk anytime you get on a bike and get out here in traffic and also in a car. I've had actually more friends that got hurt and died in a car than on a motorcycle, believe it or not. My brother, he rode motorcycles from uh, from the age of 7 to 30 years old and he, he never got hurt on a motorcycle but he they dropped dead of an, a brain aneurysm. That's what I tell you guys, you're not safe at all in life, man. So just get out there. If you want to ride a motorcycle, get your ass out here and ride a motorcycle. Don't, don't, don't let fear rule your life. Fuck fear, man. Just get out here and enjoy life as much as you can. You never know what tomorrow's going to be. Be grateful for another day. But that's all I have for you guys. If you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Videos. All my videos are categorized in various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. And I appreciate all you guys. Take care. And until next time, we'll catch you guys later. Check out my other channel, Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs. Where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.